What's good, world? This is Pearl Gates, live from 181st, Washington Heights, New York. And I'm doing a special verse for King Bars, 247HH.com. So you know it's got to be the truth. Let's go. So many hopeless roads I chose to blow by This roller coaster. Life is like La Costa Nostra I got love from both sides The streets and those who chose diplomas Paying homage I see you though I'm high with low eyes I ain't a killer but I'm willing to Just trust I know guys To kill your whole vibe Leave you choking on but go with the bow ties You're just a home fry My skill is skill It's about that scratch like Skrillex I don't have no feeling About how big my own appeal is I am just the illest And if not I'm sure that I'm the realest Spend your time on Twitter Time is Skrillex Wondering why you're bitter I set off the verse with With uh, so many hopeless roads I chose to blow by This roller coaster Life is like La Costa Nostra it, It's really a reflection of All the all the hurdles I jumped through To kind of get myself into a better space Spiritually, physically, mentally And and you know It is it is a roller coaster ride When I say Costa Nostra It's not, it's not so much so like Mafioso, it's more like it's our thing. You know what I mean? Like it's 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 the human experience. I think it was very important for me to to open up the verse with that because it set the tone for the rest of the uh, of of what I brought with it. I ain't a killer, but I'm willing to entrust. I know guys to kill your whole vibe. Leave you choking on Bogota bow ties. Shout out to everybody knows what Bogota bow ties are. You know what I'm saying? That's it's not a good thing. I don't condone that type of <laughs> those type of actions but nonetheless you know it's the subtleties and the lines that that create the imagery that i'm trying to bring forth with the with, with the verse so it's, it's one of my it's one of my favorite uh, uh subtle lines in there you know that line where i'm like my skill is skillets about that scratch like skrillex you know what i'm saying i don't have no feeling about how big my own appeal is like i don't really give a fuck man my shit is just dope it's dope because it's made with love so everything i touch i try to put love in it and you know that's that's a reflection of that on that line on bits of lemon and christiana you learn to walk with the spirit of light to emit it out of you keep your eyes on them dudes with intentions to quickly body you now you're out of that box but this out of space out of sea gets cloudier and it's all about your vision all about precision beats power power knows i'm like a surgeon with these verbal incisions when i touch on the topic of learning how to walk with the spirit of light to emit it out of you and it's just really understanding the forces of darkness and the forces of light and and trying to spread and be about the right things you know what i'm saying that's that's what i try to focus on i elaborate on that uh throughout the the verse you know what i'm saying this outer space odyssey gets cloudier but it's all about your vision you know what i mean like when you start to when you start to awaken to life and what it's really about although it sets you free it feels like you're back in a whole other prison but you know what i'm saying if you maintain your vision you're always going to find the answers that you seek if you use your intuition in your heart and that's what that line was about you know what i'm saying it gets cloudier but it's all about your vision and it's all about precision beats power you know what I'm saying? You that that other man right there can have all the power in the world, but if you're precise with your actions and your movement, that's how you win. It's it's permeating throughout the verse, you know, in terms of just uh my experiences and and what this vessel has opened up to receive. So uh, you know, I'm I'm happy to be sharing it with, with y'all. Just call it nuclear fission The way I split your membrane That's why the logo depiction Looking so insane Look here this pimp game Hit the track to earn knowledge yourself Take these words as add-ons To admonish your wealth The key to make it out of hell Gotta get that out of yourself Play your cards so when it's end game You're proud of yourself Right? The rest is self-explanatory So before you rub your temple Know in your temple lies your glory I'm streamlining consciousness From the gods that rose before me So before you squeeze that trigger Understand you're part of my story I'm 5,000 feet above sea level I see devils in panorama And man, his grammar is tea kettle Guru That line where I'm like uh, You know, streamlining consciousness From the gods that rose before me so before you squeeze that trigger, understand your part of my story. You know, that's that's one of my favorite lines on there because it's really talking about uh, if you have an understanding of 
of the force of life and nature and and why you exist then everything is meant to be everything just is you know what i'm saying so whether you hate me or not the message i'm just a vessel for something greater so this particular verse was uh it was inspired um because i, I wanted to write something that reflected uh Guru's career, Guru from Gangstar, rest in peace, Guru. It was inspired by him, and and it's just uh, it's just something that was on my mind. Really, uh, I was hearing a bunch of interviews with my man Sil. You know, we was just lighting up, vibing, and uh, listening to some of his interviews, and uh, just him talking about uh, not only hip hop but life in general. It it brought a lot of uh, inspiration to me. Also hearing stories about Guru uh, personally from um, DJ Premier and uh, Master Ace, you know what I'm saying? It, it like on the road and stuff like that. It was it was very dope to kind of get an understanding of the, the type of uh, dude he was and um, you know how ill he was on the microphone. So I just wanted to tell my story, and he inspired some of it. So that that was kind of the roots of it. And it inspired me to write that verse and um we put that joint together it's unreleased but the whole gist of the verse is really just uh talking about life you know how i chose a uh, different path from the environment that i came up in it, it's allowed me to see the world it's allowed me to expand my consciousness and so uh this is a reflection of that you know what i mean but it's one of my more recent favorite verses because uh it talks about real shit, you know what I mean? And that's that's what we here for. That's what we came for. I feel like the Pearl Gates experience is an audio visual experience all in one. You know what I mean? And um really what what makes it the Pearl Gates experience in its essence is the honesty. Everything I write, everything I am is a product of my environment, a product of my upbringing, a product of my experience. So, you know, when you when you hear the the cadence the flow the elements that make it me it, it's really not just me it's everyone that i grew up with everyone i'm inspired by people from my hood you know just my neighborhood in general washington heights is a very unique environment of upstanding citizens drug dealers drug users you know criminals but ultimately for the most part good people that's what i bring through the music uh the production is important for me to kind of uh choose uh which direction in terms of the vibe and the feel for the story that i'm trying to tell and then the words carry the message in in almost like a picturesque format where you know as i'm saying it you know the way i, I format it is in a way where you can kind of see the description and with your eyes closed you know so um that's kind of what it's about uh i got an album out right now it's called live from the first shout out to below system records you know that's that's the label and um you know i got cassidy on there Gichi sway from camp low uh torre you know kim down in orlando shout out to kim sill uh Bree steves from philadelphia so it's uh it's a lot of it's a lot of good things on that it's a it's a lot of who i am as a person on those records so pearl gates is like it you know the way it, it kind of honestly the name found me but um as i was a uh on my napoleon hill flow or just a vessel of a moment and and understanding what pearl gates meant it's really just kind of a to me it's god mcs you have god mcs and you have ordinary rappers you know and the god mcs you know being like the Nas is big master ace kane rakim etc and then you have ordinary dudes that try to rap so i didn't want to jump the gun and claim to be a god mc but i wasn't an ordinary rapper so what separates immortality from the mortals is the pearly gates of heaven and um it's just it's just like the standard pearl gates is the standard if you if you this nice you know what i'm saying you might have a chance to get to the other side but i'm the gatekeeper so that's what it is you know pearl gates